Hi, yeah, right then, so we've got this third example. So the other one's been quite straightforward, so let's see what this one's like. So it says, in this question, use G's 9.8. Vicky has a mass of 65 kilos and is skydiving. She steps out of a helicopter and falls vertically. She then waits a short period of time before opening a parachute. The parachute opens at time t is zero, where her speed is 19.6. She then experiences air resistance of 260 V. Um, so then part A says, show that the resultant downward force. Right, so we're working out F first. So if you imagine, let me move that, actually, let me move that F. Let's draw a picture. So here's our Vicky, our Vicky. Um, she's got a mass of 65 kilos, so she's got 65 G. When she opens a chute, so she's travelling down, when she opens a chute, she gets a resistive force of 260 V. So my force is, my resultant force is the direction of travel minus whatever's opposing it. So that would be 65 G minus 260 V. Now if you look at the format of it, We've taken the 65 out. So if I take the 65 out as a factor, I've got G minus 4V, which very much looks like it, but if I just change the G into 9.8. So that's quite nice, that, isn't it? It's like a little bit like algebra force. So I've done that one. So then it says, part two, show that dV by dt is that. Right, so let's do our F is a mass times dV by dt. So my force was 65 lots of 9.8 minus 4V. My mass is 65, and then it's dV by dt. So that's quite nice in the fact that my 65s disappear, so 9.8 minus 4V. Oops, I've lost an equal there. There's an equals there, look so. Is equal to dv by dt. I might just write that out again with the equals in so we know for sure. Maybe I should just give up, I can't write. Uh, 65. Sixty-fives. Cancel. So what am I aiming towards? Oh look, they've taken out a minus four, haven't they? Minus four. I guess 9.8 divided by four is 2.45. There you go, and I've got what they want. Perfectly. Lovely. Right, part B then. So let's have a look at part B. So part B says by showing that that's the integral, find it. Right, so I've got minus 4, V minus 2.45 is dV by dt. Now, V's on the top. The V needs to go over here. So, V minus 2.45 dV is minus 4 dt. And I integrate both of them. So, I've got minus 4t is equal to... Now, that's going to be a log log of v minus 2.45 plus c. Now, just to make it a little bit easier for me, I'm just going to put the c on the other side. So I've got minus 4t plus c is log of v minus 2.45. If I do e, I've got e of minus 4t plus c is v minus 2.45. Remember that idea, I can split it up as e to the minus 40 times by e to the c, e to the c is a constant, so that becomes a e to the minus 4t, is v minus 2.45. I'm on 4 minutes 30, I'm going to have to stop the video and restart it, do it, but it's only like literally a minute, so don't 